So, hello guys and welcome to this new video. Today I'm here to show you this engine right here. Um, it's a three-stroke vertical bidirectional engine. So, um, before I go into this any further, um, you may want to watch a video I did uh, a couple of weeks ago on a three-stroke horizontal bidirectional engine. Uh, because a lot of the stuff I said in there is also going to apply here and I'm not going to repeat all of it. Um, as a follow-up to that, I would also like to like announce in this video, uh, I put a notation uh, an annotation on the previous one, but uh, maybe not everyone saw that. That the horizontal bidirectional engine, as it turns out, was not the first of its kind on YouTube. Uh, in fact, Deco made uh, one as well, like a month ago or something, but he didn't call it a three stroke, or he didn't even mention three stroke anywhere, but that's what it is, it's a three stroke engine. Um, but he just considered it a self returning engine, which I would say is the less important. <laughs> Uh, property of the machine, but it it it, it fits the definition. So uh, I was a bit, I didn't find it, but someone else did. And well, actually, I did not watch it, but I didn't know it was three was stroke until someone told me it was. So uh, as a result, that thing also works, and I will link it in the description. Um, so there was a bit ambiguity, like what, which one you would want to use. You would have to use some more complicated extenders, but the engine itself was also smaller. So there were different. Um, ways and of course the reversing will also be different so there's different ways to look at it however here again i tried to look it up and got nothing as you would expect because it's pretty specific stuff um but i'm fairly sure there's one hasn't been done before because and as often with uh bad action slimestone um the vertical stuff is a lot more annoying than the horizontal stuff um because with horizontal stuff for example kind of everything is symmetrical Quasi-connectivity is a thing, but it works in both the same way in both directions, whereas if you turn something upside down and quasi-connectivity doesn't work the same way anymore. As a result, but, uh, generally speaking, vertical uh, slimestone is harder than horizontal slimestone, or at least bidirectional slimestone. Anyway, uh, so as a result, I built a previous engine in like maybe an hour, maybe a bit longer. Um, yeah, this one on the other hand, this took me several evenings. I often gave up because I, I tried to very many, many, many different approaches and this thing isn't as compact as I would have hoped, but um, I can fit it. So, but I'm ramming so long, let's just show this thing in action for a second and let's first turn the volume down for a bit. We also, I apologize for the distance, but uh, there's some tournament stuff around here which I do not want to keep up with just yet. Um, and with tournament stuff, I mean... Uh, I'm referring to Cube Hamster's Slime Block Robot Tournament, um, which I will link in the description. Now that I've said it, I guess. Um, so, yeah, as you can tell, a typical three stroke engine, uh, you have a typical um, bird engine, and then it updates itself using a piston which is powered by something below, and it's in both directions, and yeah. So, right here, we've got the engine itself. I feel like I was actually, I should have said something earlier. Um, so yeah, it's not as compact as I hoped it would be, but it's I tried a lot and this is what I got, so I'm releasing it the way it is, I, sp I spent a ton of time on it, and uh, frankly, I think people can live with building it. So, I mean, look, it's fairly big though, so I may want to like give a bit of explanation as to what this means. Um, this part right here can move independently of all the other stuff. Uh, this, you could call the engine of its own. However, extending it isn't that straightforward, so that's why I decided to ask myself myself. Uh, because over here you can only add a load of one, and over here you only, uh, only add a load of two. Uh, if it would be two over here, that would be fine, then we could do something normally, but not in this case, unfortunately. So I had to find a bit of a, um, a special method of uh, doing an extension right here, which I used using, um, I guess, what you call good, what I use. What I called a virtual Samsung connection in the past, uh, which I will link to that video too in the description. Um, and yeah, so uh, what do I want to say? Um, right, so right here we have a pretty simple connection. It's, I, I'll just show it in slow motion. It, it's probably the easiest way to explain it. Um, so yeah, this Hudson block is just going to power that piston. It gives going to give it zero tick pulses, and it's going to push that up. And then over here you have a bullet uh, sticky, which is just acting, uh, which pretty much turns it into an engine as long as this one is being powered. So yeah, that's pretty much how this works. Uh, and this layer is just to make the extension a bit easier. Uh, however, even if you want to extend from this layer, there are some problems because 
of the update order. For example, over here, you see this piston pushes instantly. So you need to make sure that over here, you don't have problems with the update order. And over here, it's the same story. This one pushes instantly. So you need to make sure that this one pushes before that one. And this one also before pushes before the, that one. Otherwise, you get problems. Um, so because of all those uh, order thingies, I thought I would go through the hassle myself and build a design which works. Of course, you can just drop all of this and make your own if you want to, but I'm telling you, it may be a bit more difficult than it seems. Um, so even here, I'd, um, a bit order is kind of important. So for example, I first wanted to add this arm over here. Uh, but by doing that, for some reason, it starts updating, I think it was this engine before that one, uh, sorry, this piston before that one, which uh, broke the machine. So as a result, I messed around a lot and I just ended up extending to the next layer as well. Over here, there's not a lot you can mess up. The only strange thing is that this one instantly powers, so you have to make sure that this one pushes, when this component is going up, this one pushes before that one. But apart from that, you're fine. Um, and both of these components have a lot of five, so that's stamps on Christmas as a uh, wise limestone who would ever set something set a long time ago. Um, uh, so yeah, you can easily expand from here in terms of blocks. You just need to make sure that you don't mess up your bit order, which I think should be affordable at this point. Um, yeah, there's not too much more to say, I think. Um, you've got your typical self-returning feature as with the um, all that engine. So I'm going to show you that now. Uh, with, uh, sorry, as with the uh, horizontal bidirectional engine. So uh, if you remove the top that's obsidian block, which blocks the um, top engine, then the top engine will just automatically reverse. Um, yeah, just very similar stuff. You need two obsidian blocks or two immovable blocks on both sides, pretty much. That's all. Um, and yeah, the other uh, self returning feature works just like that. Same story. The powering is doing done roughly in the same manner. You just have a, a central component which does the powering and. Yeah kinds of stuff. But yeah, it, it was very finicky to figure out this configuration where all the update orders worked out. For example, this one had to not be powered while pushing up, but it had to be powered while pushing down. This one had to be powered while pushing down, but not while pushing uh, by pushing up, while not pushing down. You know, all this kind of stuff. And it could not be pulled along by the thing either, of course. So yeah, all that stuff. Uh, and which took me a long time to figure out. Um, oh yeah, one thing I definitely want to mention is uh, rotations. Unfortunately, this thing is orientation dependent. That is, there are eight possible rotations and mirrorings you can have of this thing. Um, however, only four of them work. Uh, nice thing is you can get them in four directions. So you can have the extensions going east, uh, south, west, uh, and... Did I really screw this up? Hmm. I think I did. Oh, no, wait, sorry, sorry, I did not. Uh, so, yeah, this is east, then here over here, the extension is going north. Yes, <laughs> good. And then here west, and then here south. So, uh, you can get one for every direction, but these two are rotations, and then uh, this one is mirrored from there, and this one's mirrored from there. So, these two are also rotators. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh man, this video is going terrible. <laughs> so, um,. I'm not going to explain how to build any of these. If you want to build them, just use a schematic and make sure you use the right one for the right direction. Uh, because not all rotations work. Uh, but that being said, I think I'm just going to turn this video up because it's getting pretty long and I'm not really saying much useful stuff anymore. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you liked this video. Even if you didn't, please leave a rating. And I hope I'll see you in another video. Also, 3 stock engine is an engine which moves uh, one block every 4.45 seconds. I forgot it in the last video. Thanks for watching.